Hello Aries, this is your singles reading for April 2018. Now, I want to talk about April. So, April is the number four, the fourth month. And to me, <clears throat> this month is going to be about hard work for you. Building stronger foundations in your relationships. Okay. Um, also, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link's in the description box below, as well as a link to become a member where I do extended readings for all of the couples and singles readings, okay? And you get discounts on your readings, okay? So overall energy, you have the Hierophant in reverse. I'm actually using the Vice Versa tech deck. Um, for you this month, maybe who knows it changes from time to time, but this is the deck that called for me for you and I feel like you've been in a lot of rebellious energy and you're trying to turn this around. Um, I feel like you're trying to make a, a stronger, more stable relationship um, and getting through a lot of restrictions that you or your partner may have or maybe actually just you this is a singles reading so that you may have um you're thinking about your wants um dealing with your willpower um your confidence levels about being restricted in relationships and how you execute them your oracle cards are make the effort okay it says great love is worth the steps you're guided to take this is making steps to make changes for a so more solid relationships or for yourself. You also have ask for help and it says what it is you really need. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. So I do feel like I said that this is going to be a month of work hard work, dedication, needing help. So this is a good time to ask. This is a good time to be almost aware of what it is that you want or need within a relationship or for yourself. Don't be afraid to express that. Don't be ex afraid to get that out into the open. In the past, you have the five of swords in reverse and you're ending a lot of cycles. <laughs> I laugh because it's serious. You're ending a lot of cycles in relationships and with people and even with yourself that were not helping you. They weren't guiding you forward. You're taking a rest. Okay. You may be a little bit spiteful about that energy. Okay. But I feel like you're getting through it because it's not helping you. You're not getting the results that you need. You know this from, from March. Whatever March's energy was giving you, because I feel like you were expressing yourself more in March. Yep. Especially with this queen. Is this a queen? This king of cups. So definitely getting in control of your emotions. Control of what you want. There could be someone that, has, that was being manipulative to you and you're changing that. Okay. Moving forward, you have the magician in reverse. You are gaining your power. Okay. I feel as though you may be a little bit unmotivated um, because something is not right in front of you. You don't see the foundations for what they are. But I feel like you're starting to look at yourself more and the things that you need to change about yourself. I don't feel like the universe is changing them as much as they're presenting you with situations where you have to do the changing. Okay, going into April. The challenge that you're having is starting things anew. You have this opportunity for your dreams to come true. You have an opportunity to build something that makes you happy, but you have to take that first leap. You have to make that effort towards abundance. Now, I feel like it feels like a lot. It feels like a lot. It feels like a lot of energy, a lot of emotion that you may have to put into it, a lot of effort, and it just feels like a lot. 
I feel like it just feels like a lot of work. And what brings it together is the two of wands in reverse. And I feel like you see all of the work that you have to do. And it just, it seems like a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it feels like. It just feels like a lot. Okay. So moving forward, you have the six of swords in reverse. And this, it's going to be difficult this month. And I said that for you. And it's important for you to ask for help because I feel like you're changing your life around, Aries. You're changing your life around and it's going to be hard. You're going to be in some situations where you feel in indecision because you're going to have people coming back into your life or even thinking about old situations. Be careful about getting stable where you are and thinking, oh, this feels good. I, I must be here. It's, it's a learning process and you have to keep going. I feel like you're going to be fighting with that energy of standing still or not moving, but you should keep moving when it comes to your growth or who you are. Your negative influences is a four of cups. <clears throat> this is about that lack of motivation that I said was underlining your present energy. Okay. Like I said, you, you do want to regain your power, but you could also be manipulating yourself into thinking that you have made the changes already, but not realizing that it's not going to be that easy. Okay. It also comes with letting other people distract you. Um, that aren't really good for your well-being. You have more to do with the three of wands. Okay. You have action that needs to be taking place. Okay. You see abundance. You know that it's there. You have to work towards it. But be careful about being that lack of motivation in doing that. So your hopes and ideas. You have the four of wands and this is actually in reverse doesn't it still doesn't look bad because it's not bad even in the reverse this card isn't really that bad it just means that you need to pay more attention to what you do have okay you've done a lot you've made a lot of things happen it may not be perfect sunny and perfect perfect sunny and happy and go lucky right now but it does it doesn't stop you from gaining what you've already gained okay you have to look at it in that perspective. You have to put your mindset in that perspective. The nine of pentacles, you definitely are in a good spot. You're happy, you're where you should be, and you just need to see that. You need to untie yourself so you can see that. In your environment, you have the eight of pentacles and the king of wands. So it talks about working hard on your direction. Um, but this is not for you. This is in your environment. Okay. So the person that you're dealing with or what's in your environment is someone that is making a decision to go down their own path. This person that you're dealing with or this situation in your environment knows exactly what they want with this card. Okay. You may be uh, dealing with another fire sign or it almost feels like this person knows what you should want as well okay like they have made a decision about what you should do almost like they're watching you almost like they're looming over you almost like they're pushing you but you have your own ideas of what you want you're an innovator you're a starter okay you have to feel that passion and that joy and that happiness about going into something or wanting to actually start something no one else can push you to do that but i feel like that's what they're trying to do and trying to get you to make a decision or uh to help you okay so the first and the 15th you have the judgment and the queen of cups in reverse okay <coughs> So again, this is about you finding balance. So the first half of the month, you're finding balance within a situation. You're seeing that a judgment needs to be made in your life. A change needs to be made. A decision needs to be made. And you're coming out of yourself in order to see that. Okay. And it all has to do with codependence on energy. Okay. You want to grow. There's an opportunity for growth. There's communication. There's openness for you to grow. You just have to almost know that it's there with the judgment card. 
okay so 15 through the end of the month you have the hangman and you also have the queen is this the queen yeah the queen of swords i have to look at the faces okay so Again, you have that rebellious energy that you're trying to get through. You're really starting to see it towards the end of April, okay? The mid-half, end of April. And you have to change your perspective. You have to see what it is that you do have. You have to perceive that, okay? There may also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that comes into your life that helps you do that. That helps you see things in a different perspective. And helps you see what you do have. And I see you gaining your confidence confidence and your courage within yourself towards the end of the month within a situation or within yourself so you can firmly change your these ideals okay this rebellious nature and gain back some of that self-confidence that you were lacking there for a second at the end you have the high priestess in reverse and the king of pentacles. Now, let me just say this, Aries. You have a lot of kings here. I've seen three already. So it talks about you being in control of your emotions, your stability, as well as your passions. So again, with foundations, you're gaining control of yourself so you can change your morals and values in a safe, honest, and correct way. Okay? So I feel like you see the truth from the inside out. At this point, towards the end of the month, you know what the truth is. It's up to you to, to put it into action because you can with the King of Pentacles. It's like you already know, you already see the blueprint. Now you just have to start building. Okay, you can you will have much abundance. You have to be dedicated. You have to see what it is that you want to do. Okay? It's about knowing that you still have more to do. You're not at the end. You haven't even gotten to the hard part yet. Okay? You can keep doing it. You just have to be strong. You see what needs to be done. Your intuition is on point. Your intuition has brought things into your life at this point that is going to help you move forward. There may also be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's a good backbone for you or a father figure. Okay? So I'm going to end with one last oracle card for you to meditate on. And then for your extended reading, I'm going to do your energies, of course. And then we're going to split it up into uh, fire, water, air, and earth. Just in case you're dealing with those specific energies. And advice for you and oracle cards, of course, because you know I love those moving forward. So your card is truth. It says, tell the truth. Integrity is the key to living an authentic life. It's all about you living in your truth. Remember, the high priestess in reverse is bringing everything out into the open for you and giving you opportunities. So you can build more stability. So you can have a new like a new Bible, a new structure, a new blueprint for you to go off of because you're changing that about yourself, okay? But you have to realize what the truth is. You have to see the truth and you have to have confidence within yourself while you do that. And you'll be gaining that more and more throughout the month. Make the effort for love for yourself. Ask for help. What is it that you really need? What kind of support do you really need? Okay. Not just, I need you to love me. I just need you to be here. No, what do you really need? Okay. So thank you so much for listening. Remember, if you want the extended reading, the link's in the description box below. I love you very much. Love and light. Bye-bye.